and we're back again. Uh, what I did is I freeze the baseline and now I'm just going to get rid of the virus control area. You can always go back later. Um, uh, I'll open it. I'll open another instance of Ableton if I need something else. But I take it out for uh, the plugin latency uh, issues it creates. What I'll do is I'll consolidate. Oops. To consolidate this. Put the fade back. Maybe try arpeggiating this guy. Doesn't sound too good, I'll leave that out. Maybe a bit of a release. And this guy, what I'll do is put an EQ8 there. It's always best to um, mix while you're making your track. That sounds okay. Actually, it doesn't sound okay. What I'm going to do, look for better sound, I want... internets for uh, whoever tells me where that's from. That's from uh, Kamui Electro Slut. I don't want this to be half an hour of me going through samples. Consolidate, I will take you and I will loop you. I will take you as well and I will loop you as well. I'll loop you and your brother as well. And your kick. So, theoretically, everything except the MIDI would be looped. Okay, so let's uh, stretch these out to eight bars. Duplicate the shit out of it. And then we'll just 
stretch him out. There we go. So what we'll do, drop this guy here. Um, and then we'll leave the last two guys out. We'll drop our virus baseline here. We don't want it to kind of go right off the bat. Sounds kind of boring. Switch it on when we want to drop. We'll change the color so we can keep track of it. And also a bit of redux just for fun. We'll use it as a as a fill. There's a little trick you can do with your bass or your your kick. I mean, you go quarter quarter bar. So then and then you select. Well, I don't know what's that what that's called, but it's just like not won't repeat. Just plays once the. The transients, they tell where the transients are. And it just kind of ticks. We'll make that the same. We'll make it the same color. Yay! Okay. And then what I want. A bit of delay with him. See what this sounds like. And then neat. So uh, what we'll do is what's next? Let's keep on moving these guys back. We started out with like the main, well, everything kind of together. And then, you know, we have our everything just kind of, you build the track outwards. You know, you don't make the beginning super loud. And we'll just drop these guys back in. A little too loud. But we'll add some reverb. Reverbies. And then it, drop him there. Turn on our filter refilter. Oh wait, never mind. So what we're going to do. reverb in here. Yep. And then group all these guys together. And then what I'm going to have the bottom part or the top part. We'll just do the top part. Our MIDI our MIDI effects um, the synced rate and the steps will make that four. And then we'll make this three. So what it did 
and then set everything back. I should have made note of that. Yeah, I knew it. So this is 155. One, five, five. On our filter. We'll map this to macro fifth. And then our wet dry to macro eight. Because cool. So then we will take our rate uh, to two. What was it? One eighth. And then the gate is 39. We'll move that to 4. And we'll just we'll leave that the way it is. Perfect. And then we'll just close. Okay, hold on. We need this guy. Matt to macro 7. And I'm going to rename this to just so I can see it better. So now we have our little our little macro all good to go for our track. I should save this. And I won't I'll try not to feel exposed. So uh, no. Let me know what to call it. Uh, call it freeze. There. Hit leave a place. Um. And then we'll just move this guy over. Drop him here, but we'll move it over. favorite baseline Ta -da. So. okay now we gotta we gotta work on the drop or not the drop the build up or whatever it is so I like our freeze to kind of travel upwards and then move down Doesn't seem too loud. And all we'll do is we'll just filter this one up.
thinking maybe that uh, wet dry would work mm -hmm. would work best on um, that wet dry would work best on uh, the master. We'll continue this in a moment. 